I don't do a lot with old radios. I'm pretty much more of a vintage 60s and 70s stereo kind of guy. But occasionally I pick some up. I picked a few up at an auction this week and I thought I'd look at those. Uh, just briefly, I'm not going to go through them. This one is a RCA Victor 45 something. Everything is missing. I'll have to look that up later. Some type of, basically, I think they're called All American 5 radios. Uh, no back on it, so it's probably getting ready to fry me. Be careful here. I thought before I took them in the house, I'd hook them up to the dim bulb tester and see what we got, if anything. See their condition. And I got to thinking about another situation, too, as I was thinking about doing um, testing on these as the state of dim bulb testing and the compact fluorescent bulbs. So let's turn that light bulb off. I've got a, uh, I don't know how many watts this is exactly. I don't know if it says. Most of these little radios are somewhere 30 or 35 watts. So I have a 75 watt bulb here. Turn this little side light off here. Okay, we got a little brightness and then it decayed there. It's still a little bright here. Well, I can see the uh, dial lamp is working. Looks like it's brightening back up a little. Don't hear anything. Well, we're getting some power, but no audio. Whoops. No, nothing. One down, two to go. All right, the next one is this Zenith clock radio, AM, FM clock radio, probably sometime between 1953 and 1963, because it has the little civil defense markings on it. It's missing the little plastic thing over the clock. It does have the two buttons here. It's got a button over here. I'm not sure what that is. Chassis 7Y03Z, 30 watts. Hit the power switch here. Light comes on, dims. Little FM indicator comes on. Some audio here. FM. We're back on AM here. I don't know why the FM light stays lit. Maybe that's just a power indicator altogether. Little F AM, not much. And, um, doesn't look like we got any clock action. All right, next is Radio 3. All right, this is. A little General Electric. 
model 671. Well, that doesn't look good, does it? Looks like that's the on and off knob and channel knob. Once again, this is going to be between 53 and 63. I can see the civil defense mark there. Uh, this is only 15 watts, it said. 75 watts might be a little too high for that. Let's try it. 25 watts. Wow. Well, just a little tiny light there. This takes a long time to warm up. I'll just edit all that out. Well, after waiting several minutes, this one never did anything. So I guess we're going to have to say it's dead. But before we do that, I had got to thinking, what happens when we run out of the incandescent bulbs and have to switch to um, the compact fluorescence? So let's try. These are 75 watt replacements, but unfortunately they're only 20 watts. place a compact fluorescent in here. It could take all day to light up. Whoa! There you go. Well, I don't know if compact fluorescents will work properly or not. Certainly a 75 watt equivalent using 20 watts won't work for most of the radios. I don't know how big of wattage you can get with these real watts that it actually uses. So it looks like my three radios didn't turn out too well. I've got one that's sort of useful and two that aren't. That's the way it goes sometimes. Maybe I can work on them or I'll do something with them.